your online portfolio, this should just put forward your best photos. You know, what, what you would tell people, go look at this. This is what I'm capable of now that I'm a mature photographer, or this is the kind of project that I'm working on right now. Hello, I'm Kevin Winning. This is one of my lessons learned videos for those who are just starting out or practicing their photography, taking it to the next level. Uh, what I'm talking about today is uh, something that not everybody is going to do, but you'll probably get to at some point if you want to host a portfolio online. And uh, this applies whether you do it on a self-hosted solution, like I'm going to show you what I do on Smug Mug or something like Photo Shelter, or if you use uh, something that's open like a 500px, 1x Smug Mug is where I host everything right now. Here's the homepage of my Smug Mug site. And what I'm looking at today is I just kind of did a reorganization on this, highlighted just my uh, most popular categories, galleries, if you will, the stuff that I like to keep updated here on the homepage of my site. And what I'm looking at here is the Lost in Nature Gallery. This is one that I share a lot on Google Plus and I get a lot of, uh, a lot of traffic and a lot of feedback on this one. As I scroll through here, I'm, what I'm looking for is when I updated my site, I wanted to basically eliminate anything that is not a good photo anymore. And there are a couple of different approaches, uh, just talk about real quickly, to how you maintain your online portfolio. One is you dump everything into your online portfolio and you just show everybody everything that you shot. These are my vacation photos from Cuba, from Italy, from wherever. And uh, you're gonna put those up here on your website. And obviously I haven't organized those, uh, my galleries in that way. Uh, if you look at here on the back end of my website, I do have my website, my Smug Mug organization. I do have buckets for different places that I've been and they're sorted in different ways. Uh, however, I don't make those visible to everybody. Those are for me, those are for backup, plus I can search and find any photos that I've got stored online. And the way that I do this is I maintain it through a Smug Mug plugin that I use with Lightroom. If you're not a Lightroom user, don't worry, this doesn't, doesn't apply just to people that work in Lightroom. I'm just showing you this is kind of how I keep things organized in my Lightroom as well. Uh, I've got things sorted by countries and different locations that I've been to, but I don't expose those to everybody. I put them in here into Smug Mug because that's my backup. Uh, that's a backup of all of the photos that I've ever finished and published, uh, but they're not going to be visible to everyone. Uh, let's go back to the Smug Mug site here. So what I'm, I'm doing as I clean this up and reorganize my site is I want to just put in these public facing galleries, my best photos, the ones that I'm proud of, that people might be interested in printing or sharing. Uh, and as I scroll through here right away, I look at these two right here, meh. I mean, I, I don't know what you think of those. To me, they're not my best photos. I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate these out of these, uh, out of these galleries. And they're not going to be eliminated out of my online backups, just out of this gallery. Uh, so this is, the, this is the theory. When you put things up online, uh, if you are an amateur photographer, you're just trying to get, you know, get your name out there, let people know what kind of things you shoot, you might put all of your photos up, which is kind of how I started out. Uh, you wanna put everything out there and just let people know, I shoot a lot, I'm a prolific photographer. Uh, or the next best way to do that is to curate your galleries and only publish and put things forward that you want to be known for, that you want to possibly be hired for. If you're a portrait photographer, if you're a landscape photographer, if you're a travel photographer, what have you, you're going to curate just that look, right? You're not going to just show everybody everything. Uh, let's go to the homepage of my website here, actually. That's kind of what this portfolio page is. This is everything. I haven't even organized this yet, so I just kind of dumped photos in here. I need to go and organize them according to locations and which ones are my favorites. Like, just this uh, just this section right here. This is a little confusing. I've got something from Porter Sculpture Park in South Dakota that's a weird looking photo right next to San Francisco, right next to Indonesia, right next to uh, something from the Caribbean. These don't really go together, right? This is just kind of a, hey, I shoot a little bit of everything. Uh, and that's my approach. I'm not looking for clients. I'm not trying to get people to hire me to shoot a certain style. So I'm putting these up because they're my favorites. This is my portfolio. I can do whatever I want with it. If you are trying to get hired to shoot weddings or shoot portraits, just show that in your portfolio. Anyway, there's plenty of other reviews about that. That's not what I'm talking about for you today. So back to my lost in nature category. I'm going to go ahead and eliminate a lot of these and just clean this up according to what I think are my best photos. Two years ago, this one, I thought was a pretty damn good photo. I really liked it. I might revisit that and do something uh, more, a little more creative with that edit, but now that I go back and look at it a couple years later, yeah, I mean, okay, 
it's interesting, but it's not one of my better photos. Uh, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just eliminating those things that at the time when I put them up, that looked like a good photo to me. Same thing here. I mean, kind of interesting. It might be a good story piece if I were going to do a, a blog post and write a story about uh, Rosh Hanikra and the sea caves at uh, in northern Israel. But just as a as a photo itself, does it really tell a story? Does I mean, would anybody look at this and go, "Oh my God, that's beautiful! I must have that." Nah, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really jump out at me that way. But that's what I'm doing. Just cleaning up these photos that I used to have in public facing galleries, and I'll move them. And they'll only live in these deeper galleries that I don't publish to everybody, but they'll still be backed up on my service. So that's really all this is about. This is a, a quick lesson learned for you. Uh, not to publish everything and put everything out there publicly. When you're curating your online presence, just show your, show your best current work. Uh, if you have a, a blog where you want to keep kind of a running history of what you've shot before, that's great. That's what it is for. <laughs> you want to show your progression as an artist, as a professional, as uh, just your aesthetic and what kind of projects you're working on or what kind of projects you've worked on in the past. And then that will that will show somebody if they really want to delve in and, and figure out who you are, they'll look back at some of the old blog posts and see what kind of things you used to shoot. And then they'll look at your portfolio, which is your best work, what you're doing today and go, OK, they're they're improving. I see their style evolving. I see what they're working on now. Uh, they clearly <laughs> were an amateur and they continue to work on their craft. And that's what you want people to see in your photos that you put out there, that you're continuing to advance and improve in your craft. This is something that is going to be very important to you, especially if you want to be a working photographer. If you want to shoot projects for other people, you want them when they hit your website to go, oh, wow, okay, I can see that this person really knows what they're doing. Some of these photos for me, this is a crap photo. It is. I mean, <laughs> this is one of my early, early photos. I shot this with, I think, an iPhone 4 on a trip to China. At some point in my life, I thought this was a good photo, so I posted it. No, it doesn't need to be out there on the front page of my website anymore. Those are the kind of things that you want to eliminate so you can put your best foot forward. All right. Hope this has been helpful. As always, leave me comments and questions. I'm happy to help anybody and uh, respond to you if you, if you ask me. Thanks.